keep her on. This is Mendy, Lucinda, Hello. horse man. Wonderful cause. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Oh man, has it been a busy week, son? <laughs> It all started when my car started dripping oil. Took it up to Firestone here in Altoona. They said, Dan, it's gonna take a couple hours. Luckily, I have my boosted boy. And I stumbled on a big 53-foot tractor trailer truck. And a big sign hanging off the side that said, Hurricane Irma. So naturally, I, you know, I, I boosted board on down there. I ran into some old, real oh, I probably shouldn't say old. I ran into some realtor <laughs> friends of mine Sorry, Kathy, I accidentally called her old when she didn't appreciate that. I'm sorry. Hi guys, I'd like to introduce you to a oh. wonderful person. <laughs> a very dear, dear friend of mine. I accidentally said old friend yesterday and she's giving me <laughs> such a hard time and I didn't mean old, I meant old. You look great. Wait, what did you say? How are you doing, Kathy? Great good, Dan. Wonderful cause. All right, we're here in Altoona, Pennsylvania to load this 53-footer with supplies to help the folks down south in Florida who are hurting right now. We're three quarters of the way full. Things are rocking and rolling today. I noticed there was no one in the truck, so I decided to jump on in and lend a helping hand. More generous, folks. It's pretty awesome. Beautiful community effort. Ended up staying for two days. Met some incredible people along the ride. Hi, my name's Justin. He's a good man. Hi, my name's Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. I'm Joshua Miller, and I'm from Altoona, Pennsylvania, and I'm here helping load up stuff for Hurricane Irma victims. Jody, would you like to introduce yourself? No. I'll blow her out, but she's a very good helper here today. <laughs> and then this is John, very important businessman. We still got a bill. It's empty, man. Folded? I'm interviewing you. Oh, now, not this morning. Hi, folks. This is Nancy. Nice this is Nancy. Now. She's coordinating this whole wonderful, wonderful Hello. donation. Hi, I'm Nancy Franz. I'm with Remax. I'm a realtor, and I am folding clothes. <laughs> a lot of clothes. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of clothes. <laughs> and this is my friend Eleanor, who's helping me too. She's I'm helping me sort. And Pastor Jim, he's going for mattresses. I was tired last night. I was out here. Three back springs, three mattresses. That's awesome. So I'm gonna go get those now. He's a good man. He is a good man. These are good women here. Yes. These are all good folks. There's a good Joe right there. Yeah, you want my autograph? <laughs> I, I can give it to you. <laughs> Met Joe. Joe's now a local celebrity. Great folks. I'm glad your car's done, but holy yeah. man, that's a large price. Right? Yeah, that's I just spent $311 on my piece of junk car. But anyway, what's this charity for? Hurricane Irma victims in Fort Myers, Florida, and some of the community is still without electric. And the high school has high school students during the day, but it turns into a shelter and they sleep there at night. Oh, yeah, it's still going on today. Yes. What's the town is called again? <laughs> I M M O uh, <laughs> Mockley. My friend Lucinda. Uh, Lucinda's going to be down there with her husband Ron, and then they're going to be on the other end and help distribute what we load up. Let's go! I'm bounding down, baby. <laughs> Hi, guys. Video chat? Meet the vlogger. The vlogger meets video chat. I love technology. Darren, huh? Finally made it down to Immokalee Technical College. This is where the truck unloaded. Absolutely incredible, the team effort down here at Immokalee, man. All the students pitched in, there's a line of folks. Unloading the truck. And storing all the goods in the gymnasium. Met some great people down there. Mindy. Hi. Lucinda. Hello. Her husband Ron. Yeah. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. This is Keith. Wow. He is the driver of the Smith Transport truck. So another great guy right there. And the man with the master plan, Dan. And I'm not talking about me. So what we're doing with this stuff now is, is um, we have five elementaries out here in Immokalee, and a middle school and a high school. And we've decided that 
we need a centralized way and an organized way to distribute instead of just opening doors and say come and get it. Targeted needs to targeted households in need and the best way to do that is to work with the teachers. Okay. They know their students. They're going to talk to them. Each school now has a donation coordinator that's been established and we have yeah. a work order system we put together through Google Docs. Each school will be able to send me a work order basically and we're going to be like an Amazon distribution center. I think what you're going to know is the stuff that that's going out is going to the right people that need it. Great folks, man. Huge sense of community. Great team effort. So I had a chance to speak with a gentleman named Ray Ray. He shed some light on how people were truly affected hey, by Hurricane I just met here. What's your name? My name is Ray Trevino. How are you right, doing? Dan. Stephen Hughes. Limbs as big as your leg, just uh, broken. Uh, and this is the story everywhere. Really heartbreaking. We got to see the destruction firsthand. Oh, a lot of families are not literally coming forward because of the fact that, like I said, status. We are an agricultural town, and a lot of the people that live here are, you know, right. illegal aliens. They, they hide out, they bunker down in what they've got, they don't oh, go to man. shelters, and then the after effect is, right. you know, necessities, you know? Yeah. Which is terribly sad. I right. think in a disaster situation, it shouldn't be your status. Right. I think it should be you're a human, you're, it's, it's a Absolutely. right to be helped. You know, like a lot of the people that'll come here will be in that status situation and they'll be scared to, you know, right. ask for help. Oh but what you guys did, amazing. I dealt with things my own way. I tried to take care of as much as I could myself. Right. But even being the manager of this place, I still needed assistance. Right. I can't imagine somebody that works for $35 a day and not having what I have right. to try to deal with that. Right. You know, I went 11 days with no power and you become a caveman. The heat is stifling, the mosquitoes, it's just it's a sad situation. Man, you guys came through for the community. It's, it's, uh, it just makes me happy, you know? It, there's a lot of areas that are forgotten. Yeah. You guys didn't forget this little town. This whole adventure really put things in perspective on what's important and what's not. And it reminded me of a Bible verse I learned in high school. Love thy neighbor as thyself.